Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. Um, I kind of forgot to film an intro because I've been really pumped about making all of this Halloween stuff and getting prepped for my shop update and market. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of lengthy and I've also been trying a new camera and it gets a little choppy, but yeah, enjoy! So, I went ahead and used some of these old label, address labels because I don't I, I want to get rid of them. These are the only things I'm using to ship out orders, but I thought these would be a good size because I'm going to do mystery bags of some of my old art because I want to make different size prints and whatnot because I'm going to go, instead of my mini prints being a 4x6, I want to do a 5x6. I think that's the right one, and I want to start making bigger prints. So today I'm going to test making a 8x10 print and all of my old mini prints and like just some stickers I want to get rid of um, are going to go in these bags I got. So yeah, I got these at Walmart for like 70 cents or something. I got 20 of them and essentially all my old art that I want to get rid of is kind of going in here. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> Bear does not like Tank very well. I guess we did name him Tank. He's scary. <laughs> yeah, uh, all of my old stuff is going to go in here because I'm excited to start making new stuff. And uh, this is what I'm going to do for that. And then I also got some matte photo paper. This is what Walmart was saying online that this was photo paper. So I'm going to see how that works out because I think the glossy paper I was using was just a bit too shiny. I don't know. We got vinyl sticker paper. And I got print sleeves for the first time. I don't know why they packed them like this. It's such an odd way. Like they ta the taped, they taped the top. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah. And then I also got new um, cricket mats in because mine are extra cat hairy. But yeah, I figured I'd get some more because I do, I'm gonna keep my old ones. I just don't know how to clean them. So I'm just getting some new ones for now. But yeah, just a little haul, because I have a lot of work to do today since I'm off. I've got 15 days. It just, uh... 15. Yeah. <laughs> These guys will not be in my shop anymore. So, um, I'm trying to use my... I'm trying to use Rav's GoPro to see how this goes. But yeah, these guys will not be in my shop anymore. As well as fruit animal prints. But yeah, uh, the majority of these will not be in the shop anymore. So if you want to snag them, they're going to be in here. I need to at least get them packed up. It's about, I think, 20. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. Yeah, so that's 20. I gotta get my business cards printed. So for now, these are all going in a box somewhere. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, this is all that I have left of everything left over that I want to get rid of. So if you ever want to buy these, definitely show up to one of my in-person shows because this is all I have left. Once I sell these bad boys, I'm never going to be making these again. Probably I might redraw this one. It's just the background I wasn't happy with. She's a cutie. Maybe I'll make her into a sticker or something, but yeah, that's all I have left uh, for that because I want to make some more space for some new stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make these like four or five bucks. I'm not really quite sure. It's about four to six items in each bag, so um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I uh, get rid of some of these because I'd like to see them go to some nice homes. Okay. Look at all of these. I think I've got like ten, eight, nine more. But I hope these do well. Because after this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start. I'm either gonna start um, testing my new prints, or I'm gonna start making uh, my stickers. And I bought like some hollow. Um, like holographic laminating sheets and I want to test those because I think those look super duper cute with my Halloween stickers but I'm worried because if I make them look the wrong like say if they're too dark and like the hollow like is just too much that's my only concern um so I don't know but I guess those could just be like more for these right so it's whatever. I still try to sell all my misprinted stuff because I feel like people definitely like my little bargain bin or my silly jail as I call it. But yeah. This tiny mini stapler is like going to give me carpal tunnel or something. <laughs> it's just so small. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a good size for all of these two. And then my other bin is gonna be specifically for sticker sheets and sticker packs. And my mini Kirby print packs. I don't know if I'll keep making them that size, but um, I still want to continue to make those because people really like the packs more than the individual ones. price these at but I have a pretty little like paint marker I'm just gonna like write the price on and make a little sign for the front but yeah awesome and then I can use these for like other conventions too whatever allows me to have mystery bags because I know some people are weird about like gotcha machines and mystery bags but yeah uh next we're probably gonna work on prints either prints or stickers I don't really have much else to work on for today but yeah <laughs> Okay, so currently I'm getting all of my um, labels for the Halloween stickers. So I'm just kind of like writing the names down really quick. And I also should probably get started on like making all of my Etsy listings too. But I'll probably do that like later on where I'm just like sitting in bed or something. I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm just getting all the labels ready. So when the time comes, I'll be ready to just like, you know, whip them out when the market comes around. So yeah, I just kind of use washi tape and like label everything. And then later on, I label everything on my panels. So like they all have numbers on the panels too to the corresponding thing. So it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll do that as soon as I start updating all the panels. I also, if I can find it. So I got this about like two weeks ago, but I don't know if you guys can see it. You can't really tell. Let me bring one out really quick. But it's just like this cute little like glittery effect. And I thought it would be so cute for the Halloween stickers. So if I like it, I'll like keep continuing. I'll be continuing to use these in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Words are so hard. I'm gonna start printing out some stickers. And then maybe prints? I'm not quite sure yet. I kind of need to make like a little to-do list because I think that would help me out a lot more. But um, yeah, let's get started with that. Oh no, one of them has cyan ink on them. I think it's the only one that got messed up, but they look super duper cute. Yeah, it's like a little shimmage right there. He's gonna have to be a misprint, but I think my printer heads might need cleaned. But we're gonna try to laminate him and see how it goes, cause these look so cute. Ah, I'm so happy with how they turned out. Cricket sheet. I hope that. Okay, it's sticky. I don't know if I should try to save this or not. It's this is gonna get, it's gonna get buried regardless. I don't know. Fresh clean cricket mat. Oh, it looks so good. This is supposed to be standard grip. <laughs> okay, it should be dry. Yeah, he's pretty dry. I try not to use the squeegee because like it like scratches my stuff. Don't ever use this, okay? If I could find one with like foam on it, I would use that instead. I guess. Ooh, I've never done this before. I gotta stand up. This is stressful. Maybe I'll cut it first. And then, well, it didn't get any bubbles on the stickers. If anything, I popped them like with the very tippiest tip of my Gretto blade. My arm is like probably completely in the way. Oops. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so they are like a little bit longer than the sheet. I gotta pop uh, like one or two bubbles out, but I'm gonna have to figure out a better method with the. Uh, Oh my god, these look so cute though. Can you guys see these sparkles? The glitters. It's glistening. This is so cute. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna pop this in the cricket and then let's see how this goes. Okay. How do I mute Alexa? You can see how these turned out. Um, if anything, ooh, actually, let's bring him in the night. Cute! Ah, those are so cute! Wow! As you roll it, it won't bend the sticker because you don't want to bend these. But uh, these are so cute! This... Wait, how do you get the sparkly? So it's, um, it's a lamination sheet, but they're wow. sparkly. They're like a couple bucks more than like the normal ones, but. That is so cute. So hopefully these look okay with the darker color ones too. Okay, these look so good. I'm actually so excited. Okay, I figured out a way 
to make this a bit easier because my last two were a little crinkled up, but I just kind of peeled the edge back and then folded it over. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I usually do. But yeah, these are going really well. I gotta test out how the pumpkins and the witches are gonna look. But yeah, they're looking pretty good so far. I'm really happy with how this guy is turning out. So yeah. So yeah, um, we kind of know what this is. I have gone through at least three sheets of my GG stickers. I've come to the conclusion that I think I just need to calibrate my Cricut. But I will say that I think the darker the sticker, the less detail you can really see with the glitter. I'm gonna be using the hollow. I mean, it would have been so cool, but it just takes a lot of the detail out of it. I have to test the pumpkin one still of Eugene, but yeah, it's a no for me. We're just gonna be using these guys for now because uh, I think the hollow kind of dolls them as well. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm really tired if you can tell. I am just so ready to get these stickers made. OMG, I've been so excited for them too. But yeah, we're gonna hopefully uh, see if this works. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Hello! Okay, um, I think it's been about three days, I'm pretty sure. I left off of um, trying to troubleshoot my Cricut. I did get it working, I just didn't continue. Why is it gotta eat now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it's okay, I need, you can keep eating. Um, I should show off my fit. I did get my Cricut working, by the way, but we're going to a cafe for realsies this time, okay? I'm not lying this time. But yeah, uh, um, with my ghouls, hanging with my ghouls, hello? Very cute outfit, but, but, <laughs> but, um, um, some poor financial decisions were made, um, in the last couple of days. Investments. Investments, yeah, see, you're right. I, um, I can't, it'll be upside down, but you get the point. Um, at first we were like, let's just get the like new watches. They look pretty neat and like we want to be like healthier and like track it and stuff. Some of you guys who like know me a little bit like on stream and stuff, you guys know I had heart surgery and this thing can do like an ECG and that's really cool. So I was like, I should get it for that. Um, but then we figured out that my phone was a bit too old to run all of the cool features <laughs> and Raf doesn't have an iPhone. So we we're like, all right, let's just get iPhones. <laughs> thought I wasn't going to be able to upgrade, but it was literally the first day they were released on top of the watches. Um, so I just, I upgraded my phone. I had a 12, um, but yeah, it, it's such a nice pink color. Um, and I just wanted to record this process because we got a package in the mail. Oh, here's my phone case. Um, I'm definitely going to get a more protective one, like for when I'm at my wheel job. Um, cause I'd be, I'd be slamming that phone around. Okay. <laughs> But this one came with a screen protector, so I need to put that on, but I will try on the case for you guys. It has little ghosties on it, and it's packed very well. Um, I'm still waiting for the camera cover to come in the mail. Wow, this case is... This case is actually really thick. <laughs> no, that's everything. Camera cover should be there. I don't know if mine came with a camera cover, or if ours is the same size. But yeah, um... Pretty, pretty case. It's so spooky. But yeah, I was like, I, I need to upgrade my phone. I want to have a better like camera quality and stuff. So yeah, that's what we did. And I unintentionally matched the phone to my nails. So yeah. Um, but yeah, just a quick update because I'm really excited to take all of my new like Halloween pictures, like all of my product photos. They're going to look so good. I'm like so excited. Um, but yeah, I've also been filming some videos like on the GoPro as well, uh, my boyfriend's GoPro, just to see like how that quality differs. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get all this stuff on and then I'm gonna go walk to a cafe. Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, 
So we are in the litter room. I will be kicking him out, obviously. But, um, yeah, I kind of got this area set up. Um, I still have to get the air purifier in here. But this is going to be my space from now on in terms of resin because the entire house stank when I do it. And it's toxic and not good to be breathing in. So, for the meantime, um, I'll be working in here. My cats literally only come in here to poo. And I've got the windows open. Um, the fan is off because it's really dusty. But once I put my like little bin cover things over my resin pieces to cure, I'm gonna turn the fan back on. But um, yeah, so we've got all of that going on. Let me grab the stickers that I want to use too. I'll be right back actually. I have a ton of leftover cases for my old phone and I even bought one like about a month ago that I was gonna use for my own Decoden case, but I'm gonna use these and make some cases. Yeah, I think I have at least one more phone case to use. Other than these three, I'll have to look and check. For all my Sanex, like Sanrio stickers that I got, I'm gonna make some Halloween charms and coasters as well and some karomi ones so just a little restock so i'll be using these guys so i'll set these over here okay so i'm not gonna really like film this part because it's a little tedious and stinky and i'm gonna be like gloved up and stuff anyways it can get messy so i'll just like cut to the next scene okay okay uh next next cut cut <laughs> okay Okay, it's the next day, but I was out and about today um, because I had to get a couple of things for the studio. I guess I could technically call this a studio, right? This is where I make the art stuff, right? You're creeping me out. You're creeping me out. This was three bucks. I had to get this, okay? This was essential. Also, I'm gonna be making a large batch order of t-shirts soon, and I have a lot of vinyl already, and this was half off. So this was like eight bucks, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, um, I thought this was gonna become handy. I also got some resin for our next batch of stuff, because I have um, some Halloween stickers from Five Below that are Halloween themed, of course. Um, they're like Sanrio, and I got this half off. Always check your coupons on Joann's. I know that's so like, how do I say, cheesy? I don't know. But this is about 16 ounces of resin altogether, and I got it for like less than $20, less than 15 bucks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then I got this really cute fabric for a skirt, and it's super duper adorable. So I'm going to be making like just a little pinafore skirt probably something like this but like a more flowier design because so i'm going to use this as a pattern but yeah but i also got this spooky paper that i'm thinking about using year round um for my panels so i have to update my panels later as well so it's just a little haul or whatever <laughs> but i do need to get my eugene um pumpkin cat stickers done so let's go do that really quick Pizza fit? I don't know if you guys can see my pants. <laughs> but very cute outfit, very spooky. Okay, I'm just making sure that it's cutting properly. It's not, wait, pause. Pause, why is it not cutting it properly? No. These stickers are cursed. They are cursed. I couldn't even get through a sheet. I'm calibrating my machine again. I just. What's wrong with pumpkin, Eugene? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so. It is the next day, and I'm gonna have a demolding video for all of the resin bits that I made, but they did cure very well, actually. I'm really happy with the coasters. <laughs> I'm kinda jelly because I want one of my own, 
but uh yeah actually it's really dim in here and i didn't really think about that when i moved my little studio in here but we've got a ton of little bits and bobs um so i'm going to be making phone cases and uh Hopefully some charms. I do have some that need to get a clear coat here in the other room. But uh, yeah, I figured I would show these bad boys off. Because they look really good. But yeah, um, today I'm going to Wally World and getting some decorations for the booth for next week. So we've got 10 days. Um, 10 days. Oh, and I hung my vinyl thingy up, so that's great. <laughs> It's actually very clean in here. I cleaned up the other day, so it's looking good. Um, but yeah, kind of slow. I'm probably gonna work on cutting prints, like printing them and cutting them later. And I also worked on um, making some little postcards out of the sticker designs I have. So yeah, I will probably like throw them up here. I don't know, I made those, but yeah. <laughs> I gotta work on printing and cutting those out too, so little outing um excited yay <laughs> okay i had just ran to get groceries and i came back unfortunately i didn't have the time to get spooky stuff but i'll get it a later date because we but yeah we got groceries uh when raf was on his break <laughs> so we had a speed run but i got an ube latte and this gigantic cookie as a treat for making it through another week and I'm finally getting around to working on the Eugene stickers, my pumpkin stickers, because they were a bit too, um, actually, I need to turn my light on. Okay, it's, it's a little gloomy in here, but yeah, um, they were a little bit too bright, so I just kind of lowered the saturation and they're like perfect. But I'm going to do one test with the uh, glitter stuff that I got. Wow, I'm so sorry for the... Is it flashing still? Oh no, that must be part of my fan. Anywho, we can film in the dark for a little bit. It's just so cloudy out today, which I love this weather, but it's too dark in here. But yeah, we're gonna try to put hollow on these guys. Um, and then hopefully it'll work. I hope these aren't too dark. I know the ghost ones have my glitter hollow. I just hope these guys work out because it's pretty cute. But yeah, I'm gonna start working on that and eat my little cookie. And then we're gonna start making prints because I made a bunch of prints. Hold on, I gotta show you guys. I did this last night and also like while I was at the cafe. Um, really fun, awesome, cute experience. I should like leave a little snippet of the reel I made for that because I didn't get to record because I was too nervous. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to make little like postcard moments. They're very cheesy. I can't decide which one's my favorite. I think this one probably is. But yeah, I'm gonna make um, just a little square postcard things. I'm not sure how big I'm gonna make them. Maybe a six by six, but super duper cute. <laughs> but yeah, um, just something extra to add to the shop and everything. I need to like actually get to work on everything so I can take pictures, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna sip my little drink and make my little sticker, guys. So let's get to work. Yee! <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't take any of the details out, but it's 
it's so cute. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter or not. But I guess it's okay. It's pretty cute. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. <laughs> I figured it out. They're perfect now. And I only wasted three stickers, thank God, because I don't want to waste any more. <laughs> All I had to do was just draw a Sharpie on the corners, and I looked it up. Use Sharpie for your hollow stuff. Maybe even a paint pen, but this... I have, like, one of those, like, um, what is it? Craftsman grade <laughs> Sharpies? I don't know, it's humongous, but... I just did that and it worked perfectly. I'm so glad. It's very dim in here and the hollow does not help my Cricut situation either. I even tried putting my iPhone as a flashlight over it. It didn't help, but Sharpie. Sharpie. I'm so glad. These guys are so cute. Okay. Here. Let's, let's uh, get a sneaky peeky look. These stickers are cursed. <laughs> look. And the glitter doesn't take up too much detail. It gets a little muggy in the eyes, but... Mm, you're so cute! I'm so glad. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get the rest of these made. <laughs> Okie dokie, guys. I'm afraid that this vlog might get a little bit too long. So all my leftovers are going to the next one, which is gonna be prepped for the market. So thank you guys for watching. This is the first real um, outro I've ever made, so sorry about that. <laughs> but the next intro will be me in the same clothes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, bye guys, thank you, bye, bye, thank you for watching, bye, bye.